Oh my god, Kevin Tran. This poor fucking character and the just the shit heap he would get. Literally, he does not have a happy ending. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 21 of Supernatural Season 7. Reading is fundamental. This is the introduction of Kevin Tran. We get to learn about more of what's happening with Castiel and his relationship with Meg as well as the battle that's still kind of happening within heaven. It's kind of the demons kind of wanting to get back at Castiel for what he did to Crowley. Finally, Leviathans realizing that this is actually a pretty important piece of literature that Kevin's reading. Now, something I have to kind of make a comment about, which I find still annoying, is that all of the story-related shit has just all of a sudden started. I understand that Supernatural did this often. They would have a little bit of filler in the middle, but the amount of filler in this season has just been absolutely idiotic. Like, I'm actually just going to do a count here of actually which ones actually are story related here. So just kind of to put it in perspective, we are on episode 21. There's only been maybe 10 episodes that actually matter to the story. That's being a little generous. It could be even lower. By God, that's what happened with season 15. Season 15 was that fucking pointless for a large majority of it. Oh, by the way, the the Hunter's Cabin being Rufus's cabin, that set, I, I've seen it. I got to see it last year. It was really cool. I got to go inside it. I got to take, check it out. And now that I'm re-watching, I'm like, oh, dang, I kind of would have wish I could have taken a, a selfie in there, but I was there with a bunch of bosses and I didn't want to look like an idiot. This episode, focuses on a few different things. The first one being, like I said, Kevin Tran, who has the ability to read the tablet that Dean and Sam found. They thought that they could go to Castiel with it, who is better-ish, but he's also really kooky. But I really like his relationship with Meg. Meg has become his protector. Obviously, this is when they could really take advantage of Castiel being just his weird self, like he boops. Kevin Tran on the nose. Is there really any kind of importance to what he's doing? No, but did you still chuckle? I did. I see what they're doing with Castiel and he is still in this broken state. He's just kind of aloof and still figuring out himself. I like that Meg is watching over him and she's figuring out things. She's also keeping an eye out for herself, but she's still, you know, trying to protect and do sort of what's the right thing. The episode's just a kind of a little bit jumbled. There's a lot that's happening in this episode and really it could have been either split up over a couple of episodes or in fact, this could have happened way earlier and this wouldn't be such a confusing kind of mixture of things. The episode isn't bad per se. There's still some funny bits in it. I do like how there's a lot of self-reflection about what Castiel's done. Like Castiel was willing to admit what he's done and. Dean has a little bit of a conversation with Kevin about being chosen and how it sucks and now he don't you don't have a say in it. I like a lot of the tiny little elements in it and I even like the ending where the Leviathans appear and it's like they capture Kevin Tran but it doesn't matter because they now know what they can do with Kevin Tran. But remember in my last review I made the comment that Dean was calling Sam a dork like what do you call him dork? Dumbledore for knowing about Harry Potter. When this episode starts and Sam mistakes Metatron for Megatron, Dean is the one who corrects him. So again, like literally my point was proven the next episode. It was still a funny joke though. Anyways, in the end, is this episode good? Is it bad? It's kind of so far in the middle. I, If I did do 3.5, which I've only ever done that once, I would give it that because this episode just doesn't feel like it has anything to it. Yes, there are story elements to it. Yes, there are elements in here that are forwarding the plot. Is this episode way too fucking late in my opinion? Yeah, I think a lot of the story episodes that have happened in this season are coming too late. We're now doing the fucking actual story. Like, thank God that we're actually doing story development. Regardless, the episode still has structure. It still is building up towards the end event. To say that it's checking off boxes is a bit egregious. I think that's a bit harsh but it's not high above that in my honest opinion. I feel a three is definitely too harsh. I feel that a four is almost being too generous. But in the end, I will give this episode a four and a seven. And that is me being very generous, ladies and gentlemen. But that is that episode. Those were my thoughts. Let's see what you guys had to say.
First off, thank you guys for all your comments about Charlie. It's uh, pretty good to see that she was a light character. Except for you, Nishan Afin. I'm sorry, who hurt you? Who hurt you? But no, that's your opinion. That's fine by me. Reading is fundamental is an okay episode. I half expected Meg to say to the boys, why is it when something happens, it's always you two? Mainly because it follows up after Charlie's episode that she called herself Hermione. Yeah, good reference there. Kevin meeting the angels was fun, especially when Cass boops him in the nose. I also love the setup to the tablets that would come in for the season of Carver's era. I do enjoy both Carly and Kevin's introduction, Charlie and Kevin's introduction to the series, but I do favor Charlie more. And finally, reading is fundamental. This episode introduces me to one of my favorite male characters, Kevin Tran of The Prophets, that appeared in the show. He's definitely my favorite. I really enjoyed Misha playing Wacky Castiel in this episode. I really like the scene between Sam and Castiel in the cabin, and I also like the conversation between Kevin and Dean. Okay, guys, thank you for your comments. Next episode is There Will Be Blood, episode 22. Give me guys' his thoughts about that in the comments below, and I'll read those off in the next review. So close. I'm going to watch one more episode, and then I'm probably going to go to bed, and then I'll finish this season, and then that's it. We are concluding our first ever 23 episode season since season 11, 12, 13, uh, I don't know, new one. This is when they first broke into ep into 23 episodes. Anyways, that's all for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're just more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.